We're here in Portland, Oregon for the ultimate test of riding skill and charisma. This is a multi-stage single day rally of man and machine versus the unsuspecting urban jungle. I'm talking straight savagery. The rules are simple. Finish first, popularity reigns supreme, and the entire world is watching. I'm Alan Lane, and this is the Icon Moto Vlogger Takedown Challenge. Okay, so out of hundreds of online moto vloggers, two have been chosen. Now each rider is competing on identically enhanced zero electric motorcycles and kitted out with Icon Air Flight helmets and Overlord collection gear. Let's head down to the paddock to meet the racer. This is Brock Dangler. Now Brock is basically a sport bike vlogger. Word on the street is that he's a notorious thread hijacker. Dangle out. It'll be interesting to see how he makes the adjustment from the stunt world, street bikes, to an electric motorcycle. And this is Chris Hunt. Hey guys. Chris is an avid adventure motor rider and a moderator on an impressive 16 forums. 17 forums. 17 forums. That's a lot. He's got a lot of time on his hands. That's where these two guys met. Stage one is the urban free ride, set deep in the underbelly of Portland's east side industrial district. Brock's in a box right now. We're gonna go holler at him. He's ready to kick this thing off with furious thunder. Let's go. Brock, I want you to look at me. Motor vlogger, takedown challenge. Are you ready? Hell yeah, I'm ready, man. Right. Let's get busy. You heard him. Let's get busy. What up, danglers? Here we go. Just getting ready to hop on the street. Three, two, one, get busy! This bike feels good. Wow! B-Rock has made an impressive start and is heading onto the course. Oh yeah, baby, I make this look easy. This first section is where he's going to need to establish his dominance. Will he let us see what he's hitting for? Chris Hunt, the Predator. Yep. Are you ready? I'm ready. Look, you okay. see the focus, the determination ready, man. that is inside it. this man's okay. comic. Let's okay. do it, baby. Mwah. Dude. Okay, let's see what you can do. Light it up for me. Come on, come on, let's go. Oh. Oh, that was weird. Okay, here we go, pavement. Remember to log in and keep the feedback and comments coming. The riders don't just need to finish first on our course. They need to finish first with you guys too. Wow, this bike is fast, guys. Jeez. I'm a little worried about our homeboy Chris right here. He doesn't seem quite as at home on the street bike when compared to B-Rock. Boom! <laughs> what do you think about that? I mean, B-Rock, he's been on sport bikes for a minute and a half, but I do believe in Chris. Let's give him a chance, and let's keep an eye on that popularity bar. So much traction on this thing. B-Rock made short work of that first high-speed section. Let's see how he handles the underpass chicane. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It got dirt with the I have to oh admit, God, that I... was not easy to watch. And here comes Chris. Oh, here we go. Dirt. Perfect, man. Way better. He knows the dirt game. Man, is he going through this with no problem. Oh, yeah. Chris is definitely taking the advantage on this one. Today's champion will be taking home the coveted Icon Air Flight Trophy, a healthy social boost, and of course, the cover of Sport Bikes Inc. magazine. Okay, we're back to stage one. B-Rock is comfortably out front, but he's just arriving at the stairwell. What up? Let's see if any of his street skills translate to this obstacle. Oh, shit. Damn, that's steep hell. What the f Oh, my God. Look at this. What? I can't get through here. Whoa. Oh. This isn't looking good for him. Oh, my God. Oh, here they come. Here come the thumbs down. I see. <laughs> Do you see? <laughs> wow. <laughs> ah, there we go. I got it. B-Rock is finally at the top, but his popularity has taken a hit. It looks like he's trying to salvage some popularity points with a shameless rolling burnout. How original. This stair section really seems to fit Chris's riding style. Oh, here we go. This is way more like enduro. This is my style here. He's used to riding up goat trails on the side of mountains. Dude, check out the way this thing climbs. I don't know why they put these ramps on here. Not like you need them. He's using his skill set to make this look easy. Chris even picked up a few likes on that one. Thanks for voting, folks. We appreciate that. This is the wheelie zone section, the end of stage one. The most difficult part for our competitors is to get it up at this line and keep it up all the way down to that line. Super exciting action. Let's get out the way because here comes Brock right now. Yeah, baby. Boom. There we go. Easy money. 
Look at his popularity meter. That's what the crowd is loving. Look at how high he jumped. That's ridiculous. Yeah, there we go. Time for the dangle wrangle. Here we go. B-Rock already has this one all in the bag, wrapped up with a ribbon on it. Let's see what Chris can do. Yeah. The end of stage one may be an issue for Chris. For those who don't follow his live journal, a 2006 post reveals a really crazy fact about this egghead racer. Wheelies, yes, but can he keep it up? Oh man, time for a wheelie. I hate these things. I need a moment. Chris's wheelies are garbage. I said it. My grandmother wheelies better than Chris. God dang it, man. God. Yo, what's up, Danglers? Just won stage one. You know what I found out? Chris doesn't know what he's doing. His wheelies are straight up garbage. I want to thank my sponsor, Green Yak Energy. Follow them. Hashtag Green Yak Attack. <laughs> Brock did not disappoint his followers. He's already out to a commanding popularity lead. Let's take a closer look at Brock to find out why Icon chose him. Flashy girls, flashy stunts. I mean, nobody does it like B-Rock. Nobody does it like B-Rock. Yo, all you danglers out there, B-Rock coming at you for my radish life. I'm feeling good, and so are my boys over here, Mouse and Hulk out. We're gonna be riding today. I'm gonna do something special for you. It's called the Dangle Wrangle, baby. Here we go. Yeah, you guys like that? People dream about this lifestyle. This is literally a dream. When the name B-Rock is attached to anything, people are hooked. And that's why people love me, and that's why Green Yak is sponsoring me, and not Chris Hunt. <laughs> you know why, right? Because I'm the best. That's just how it is. And I have the best trucks. And I'm the best at wheeling. And I'm just the best overall. Yo, six sesh, man. Are you kidding me? You guys killed it. Yeah. Let me show you something funny. Are you ready for it? Look what I got for Chris today. This guy is so <laughs> easy to mess with. <laughs> Look at this guy. Are you kidding me? Yeah, he's got this beef with this guy, Chris Hunt. I don't even know who he is. Let me let me tell you what I did yesterday, though. Watch this. Right? <laughs> oh. His online personality is a little questionable, but uh, everything besides that is amazing. All right, Danglers, as you can see, my life is tight. But it wouldn't be as tight if you weren't in there. B-Rock, out. The Icon Motor Vlogger Takedown Challenge has brought us to Lovejoy Park where the boys are gonna be killing it around. This is really where Chris's motor adventure riding really might come into play here to see if he can really adapt to what's going on. Let's check out the water fountain, the steps, everything. Brock might struggle a little bit getting around, but we'll find out. This is what it's about, baby. Let's go. Here they come through the first set of stairs. This is, kind of, this is a nice little park here. Let's go over these stairs. Oh, Chris, you know, I, I know you're good at stairs, but you know you can't do what I can do on here, baby. Watch me. My boy B-Rock just pulled off a huge stompy to steps. Check out the boost to that popularity bar. We would never be able to get away with this on noisy gas-powered motorcycles. Let's take a closer look at what these guys are riding. Lightweight, sick torque, and on top of all of that, silent running. These Icon Edition Zero Effects electric motorcycles are the ideal machines for stealth running. Just like me, incognito. Black Moses, you dig? Back at stage two in Portland, Chris is making his way down the fountain. These electric bikes can pretty much go completely underwater, so this isn't really an issue here. There goes B-Rock, he took the chicken line, I can't believe it. How many times have you seen a sport bike ride down a waterfall? Oh yeah, well I can get wet too, Chris. Wait, oh. wait, wait, check, check out the boy B-Rock. I can't believe it. He's doing it. What an incredible move. Way to go, boy. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Back in front, baby. Whoa, I didn't see that coming. Oh, hey, Brock. Oh, you're not passing me. I can tell you that right now. Chris just took the lead from B-Rock. Oh, dude. That's crazy. Look at Chris go. Oh, yeah, baby. Chris takes stage two. Yeah. Oh, f What's going on here? Whoa, let, let's check out the replay. 
It looks like Chris's unnecessary celebration turned into a near accident, but you guys loved it. Well played, Chris. Giving the viewers what they want is key. Congratulations, my man. You just won that section of the race. Very cool stuff. I thought that Brock had you coming down the waterfall, Close, yeah. but then you came through and you got a little squirrely, little squirrely action going on, yep. and you got a huge bump on your social media. Tell us about it. Oh man, they loved it. All I did was come down here. I turned off ABS, I switched fuel maps, took off, not a problem at all. In fact, I wrote a review on how to do all that kind of stuff. It's on evibes.com. It's ready to go. Respect the tech, man. You know what I'm saying? It's an amazing bike. He wrote the review and it's already uploaded. Respect the tech. Good job, my man. Thank you. Chris's performance at the end of stage two has certainly put a damper on Brock's lead. Let's find out more about why Icon selected Chris Hunt to compete in the Moto Vlogger Takedown Challenge. Welcome to the dojo, man. This is uh, a plane. Yeah, it crashed here a few years ago. Blew away my mom's legal marijuana crop, but that's okay, as they say, and death comes new life, and this is now where we live. So come on in, check it out. Over here, I have my sink. This is where the laundry gets done. None of this is really that interesting, though. What you probably want to see is the workbench here. Lots of projects I'm working on. A couple different MIDI controllers. Gonna merge those together. That's what helps me write my music. In fact, you probably already heard one song I've written. It was in a big mayonnaise campaign, Flute Arpeggio 6. I mean, I recognize the name. This is where I moderate all my forums. If you don't mind, it's kind of like a high maintenance thing. I'm just gonna take a few minutes and um, go through some of the forums right now. Ah, my favorite part of the day. Just checking in with my community And well, looks like everyone's just fine Oh wait, what's this? Something's been flagged It looks like nudity Posted by that jerk named BROCK69 Not cool, man You tried it once, they'll flag ya But now that's twice, I'll ban ya And not just you, but your IP this is a friendly place, most importantly, it's family safe. A B Rock free, happy community. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah. We're back in Portland for stage three of the Icon Moto Vlogger Takedown Challenge. Both riders have won a stage, but B-Rock is still maintaining a lead in total popularity points. The riders have arrived at the final stage, ready to battle. Hey man, how's that race going? Going fine, dude. Did you get my message last night? Yeah, yeah, I got it. I got it, you're banned. Well, good luck, bro. Don't mess up. What's he doing? Fellas. Fellas, I don't think you guys are getting it. You're doing a whole lot of this. It needs to be more of this. Now this is a special Jim Connor section. So I wanna see some precision drifting, okay? But make it clean. Let's get busy, boys. Watch my car though, go, go around, go around the car. Got a little present for you here, B-Rock. Clearly we have a war popping off. Yeah, baby, there we go. B-Rock is very comfortable with rolling burnouts. I'm not sure that Chris even knows what a rolling burnout is. Oh, we're burning out, I guess. It's not really that difficult. Oh. Chris has hit a cone, and another, and another. Look at his popularity meter. That's what the crowd is loving. Oh, you guys are liking this? I can hit some more cones, red cones. B-Rock isn't having it though, look at him go. Oh, Chris thinks he's good? Watch this, I got something for you. There is no gym kind of happening here today, and I'm not sure what to think of this. We are basically watching a smoke show, folks. Now, B-Rock and Chris weren't the only ones who were willing to risk it all for this. Let's take a quick look at some of the other online submissions who didn't quite make the cut. I want to be a dank meme. Icon, I hope you're ready for this. You think I can handle mud? I'm handling ice right now. Ice and snow. Mud, no problem. Gravel, no problem. You want me to hill climb? I'm a hill climb. I'm hungry and I'm ready for this. Oh, okay. 
closer. Don't mind me. I'm just playing with my buddy here, Icon. <laughs> I'm from Chicago, Illinois, so as you can see, that lake right there is totally frozen. This road is made of bricks. This is a brick road. This is like a, this is a YouTube gold right here. We're here at the Dub TC. Our boys are here. They got to get up the escalator the best way they know how. Now, Brock has had some problems getting up the stairs. It'll be interesting to see how he pulls this one off. Let's check it out. B-Rock is going to have to decide whether to take the fast lane or the slow lane. He could blow his lead if he's not careful. And I'm not taking that ramp. Are you kidding me? I'm just going to take the escalator. I'm so ahead of this guy. I can just chill. It looks like he's taking the slow lane. Danglers, keep pressing the like button. I appreciate all the support. Here comes Chris. Oh, looks like we got some stairs here. Uh, no problem. Just go right up the center. Later, Brock. Look at Chris go. Chris took the fast lane and hauled butt cheeks. Are you kidding me? I'm out. Oh, oh, I got this. There we go. Normal. Chris got a huge boost in popularity from that move. Whoa. Hey, hey, hey. Wait, wait, wait. We've got security in here. Good move, Chris. Here comes B Rock. This is going Stop. to be good. Oh, Stop. What are you doing, man? Why are you running right, where are you like gonna, that? What's going on? Get the chair. Get up the bike, bike, dude. I'm going to race right, right now. You're go. interfering with me. Well, if anything is clear, it's that you guys don't like watching people push their bikes around. Chris has no trouble making his way through the pavilion, and it looks like he found the elevator to the exit. Are you kidding me, man? You're really messing up my whole vibe here, dude. I got him. I got him. Good work though, good Jesus. work. What's going on here? Yeah, no bullets in that gun. You know they wouldn't, they wouldn't give somebody like that bullets. You know what, what I mean? What are you talking about, man? All right, go get them, kid. The boys have made their way back to the street and are heading to the final section. It's all going to come down to the final stretch. Okay, back on the street. A little bit more comfortable out here, but I know I got a wheelie section coming up. The last one was so bad. What, do you think you're fast? Watch me. That's what we want to see. We've got a race on our hands again, you guys. Left and right, doing the damn thing. We're here at the finish line. The boys are coming down right now. Let's see who pulls this off. Big finish right here, let's go! This guy's kind of going fast, but you know what? It's okay, because we're getting to the wheelie section, and this guy's wheelies are garbage. All I need is like one, two seconds, something like that. Just enough so it looks like I got an actual wheelie. Here we go, here we go, this is it. Oh, whoa! That was Chris, baby, all day. Chris takes the win. I don't know if Chris was popping blue pills, but that boy got it up and he kept it up. Way to go, Chris. Let's take a look at the final results. Chris's technical riding abilities paid off to get him through the stages cleanly, but in the end, it was his unintentional charisma that finally took it home. B-Rock got out to an early lead, but couldn't keep the fire lit with the audience. Let's go find out what happened. What happened? I have never seen anybody lose that way. What are you talking about, man? I won. No, bro. You, no, no. No, you lost. No, no, I won. And I want to thank the Danglers. Danglers, I couldn't have done it without Brock, you. Brock, I appreciate Brock. it. Look, wait a minute. You got taken downtown no. to Chinatown no, and wait. lost. Are you kidding to, me? To, to Chris Hutt? No, I beat him. So, no. hey, I'm out of here, man. All right. Congratulations to my Thank boy Chris Hunt. You pulled out the big win. That's yeah. crazy, man. I, I, what I was up, Chris? About you in the beginning because there's a little. Dude. He, he just took the trophy. That's not your that's not your trophy, man! Yeah, baby. You thought you had me. You didn't. You know, Brock, just keep it, man. It's not about the trophies to me. It's, to be honest, it's about the ride and the people we meet along the way and how we together have changed the world for the better. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just respect the tech. That's, that's all I'm saying. You've been watching the Icon Moto Vlogger Takedown Challenge. I'm Alan Lane, and I'll see you next time.